A beautiful design that's worth nothing. Hello everybody, this is Chris Barron, your Photoshop instructor. Let's dive into a review that's been sent through Discord. One of my students created this design and we'll have a look through it. So the initial impression in the hero area at least is great. The design is well balanced, it has a nice color scheme, the typography seems on point. Let's move down, yet again another uh, lovely illustration. Some wavy lines here and there, some additional decorations that I appreciate. The testimonial section is a 10 out of 10 in my book, so this is absolutely fantastic. You can see how each avatar has a different shape. So I really appreciate this type of attention to detail. I think this is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is one of the best testimonial sections I have seen sent on Discord. Really, hands down, this is beautiful. Okay, the newsletter section, this is pretty good as well. And then the footer, ugh, not so much. So why did I say this is garbage? Why did I say this is worthless? Well. Let's have a quick detour first before I get to the main topic. Um, like I said, the testimonial section is absolutely magnificent. It's, it's really well executed, first and foremost. Secondly, it's well thought of because you can see that a lot of attention to, to detail and love has been, has been put into this particular uh, part of the project. You don't spend uh, this amount of time creating individual shapes when you can just use ellipses or rectangles. So when you choose the hard route, for me, that's, that's, you know, that's really noteworthy. Now, on the other hand, in the footer, take a look at this alignment. So is this in the same class as the testimonial section? I think not. But maybe this is just a one-time mistake, right? Well, not really. Here it is yet again. And here it is yet again, even worse. Now, here's another problem. The amount of space here quite generous, right? It's not exactly the same as uh, right here, but it's it's decent, right? But then underneath it, it's really crowded. So yet again, a pretty big, uh, a pretty big uh, question mark right there. Now let's have a look right here. Uh, 49 pixels, right? 49. And on this side, let's see, it should be 49 or 48. What is it? 27. So this right here is a huge red flag. How can you design such a beautiful testimonial section with such attention to detail and such passion and love and, and precision, right? Because these shapes right here, they do require quite, they do require a, a, a lot of patience, right? And technical execution, technical knowledge in Photoshop. But then on the other hand, you just completely throw away this footer, you just throw things on and that's it. So this is again, a huge red flag for me. And the way I see it, this area right here, it might have been copied from another place, identically copied, but I think it's even more likely the fact that maybe this is a freebie. I think this is a PSD freebie that's been taken from any, from any place on the web and slapped on. Maybe the designer changed the color code or something like that. Maybe he changed the avatars or something, especially this title. But I don't think the same designer that created this area right here also created this area right here. Now you can think, if you're not a designer, you could say, hey, maybe he got bored. Maybe he, he got tired. But that's really not the way it goes. If you're tired, you're going to cut some corners. You're going to make a minimal footer. But you're not going to make these execution mistakes. So this design right here, this footer, is really unbalanced. You can see it's not well thought of. It's, uh, you know, literally the, the line isn't, uh, isn't centered. Um, it's also unbalanced by having this text layer right here, because on the right side, you could have just equalized the entire thing by placing, you know, uh, whatever the terms and conditions, uh, privacy policy and whatnot. But no, the designer just threw it and to do some things on it and that that was it so that's really worrying but leaving that aside let's see the icons again you know at, at the first glance they look beautiful they look lovely but when you when you really dig deep into it this isn't from the same icon set and you can see the style is really different so this this and this all these three icons came from from the same icon pack but this one is from a different icon pack um, and again, nothing is actually 
aligned. So if you can see here at my marquee, you can see the icon isn't well placed. Same thing here. So it's, it's a bit worrying. I think this designer might have taken a bunch of things from, from various places on the web, slapped them together, and he didn't uh, apply the glue in the right places, so to speak. But again, that's not the main subject of this video. What's this website all about? Digimarket. What does it sell? We promised to bring best solutions for your business. Okay, let's go again. We promised to bring best solutions for your business. Okay, why is it past tense? I, you can tell English isn't my first language, but we promised. Why not we promise? Because present tense makes much more sense. So that's a big red flag. But again, we promise to bring best solutions for your business. What are those solutions? So from the hero area, you don't understand anything about this business. Nothing at all. Moving down in the sub hero region, we can see we provide the best services. CEO, AdWords, uh, SEM, Web Design and Keyword. By the way, key, Keyword, yet again. Keyword what? Keyword research, whatever. No, just Keyword. So this is another big question mark. What's this about? Let's move on down. What makes us awesome? Okay, a combination of web marketing services, but it's actually the same text from, from up top. So this right here, this right here, let's see. What makes us awesome yet again? So the same title uh, written two times. We have awesome in numbers, so yet again awesome. And again, the same text. So this is actually the, the biggest problem. It's the huge elephant in the room. This design is nothing but a shell. It looks great, it looks beautiful, but it's actually empty. It's void of content. He slapped on some beautiful colors, some illustrations, some, some nice fonts, and that was it. There was no research done regarding what this company wants to sell. Uh, you know, it's services, it's, you know, it, the, the entire business. So this is a huge problem because it shows that you as a designer, you're the mercenary. You don't care about the client. You don't care if the business succeeds or not. And because of those reasons, you just did the absolute minimum. You didn't do your research. You didn't try and figure out how you can come up with some beautiful copy, some effective copy. You know, you're not interested in actually creating something that makes sales for the, for the contest holder. So then how could you expect the client, the contest holder, to actually pick you as the winner? How do you expect your client to be happy with such a design? Because again, it is beautiful, right? Don't get me wrong, but it's empty. It's superficial. There's nothing actually here. There's nothing, there's nothing here that's worthwhile. Everything is just, you know, a, a, a bit of text. You know, a beautiful font yet again, uh, some colors, and that's about it. But in terms of making this business Digimarket succeed, you did absolutely zero, nothing. So because of that reason, the client will most definitely not choose you as the winner. The client will most definitely not be happy about it. Because how could he? Remember this Digimarket um, company is probably uh, relying on this website to drive what? 90% of its business, it's not an ice cream shop, right? Where location is important and customers just come on through. No, this is probably 90 to 99% of their business. So this website has to sell. This website has to show that they're different, that, that they provide a huge amount of value. And if you, if you list the services just like this, keyword and web design and CEO, this is not enough. If you're looking for the company that does CEO and web design, would you pick this company based on this design? Would you choose it? No, I doubt it because it doesn't make sense. Again, it's just a shell. It's a beautiful shell, but just a shell. So with that being said, I'm sorry to say that this has to be thrown in the bin. It's a beautiful design, but that counts for nothing. No client is going to actually choose you as the winner when you don't get involved in their company, when you don't do your, your research, your due diligence, and actually come up with some titles, some copy, some content, and then put it into a design that's aimed at selling, at converting users to paying visitors, to paying customers, sorry. So yeah, that's about it. This is Chris Barron signing out. Thank you.